This case involves a citizen suit brought by the Hawaii Wildlife Fund and other organizations against the county of Maui. The Hawaii Wildlife Fund ultimately won in both the district court and the Ninth Circuit. That makes the county of Maui the petitioner in this case, and they are challenging the Ninth Circuit's decision. The issue in this case is whether or not a permit is required under the Clean Water Act when pollutants originate from a point source but are conveyed to navigable waters by a non-point source, such as groundwater. We should care about this case because it could lead to a substantial expansion of federal regulatory authority under the Clean Water Act. The Clean Water Act is a federal statute which governs the discharges of pollutants into navigable waters. The NPDES program, the National Pollutant Discharge Elimination System, is designed to provide a permit system that allows certain discharges into navigable waters. If you have a regular garden hose at home, if you took that garden hose and you attached a pollutant device to it and you sprayed some pollutants directly into a navigable water, that would be a point source. If instead you're washing your car and you have a bunch of soap on your car, you get out the garden hose and you spray down the car, that soap can get carried away into a drainage system and that soap is a pollutant that may end up in a navigable water. That kind of activity could be regulated under the non-point source program, but it wouldn't be regulated under the point source program because you did not take your hose and directly inject a pollutant into the navigable water. This case started in 2012 with the citizen suit provision claiming that the County of Maui was required to get an NPDES permit. Despite not having an NPDES program, it, it isn't as though the County of Maui was not regulated. They indeed were regulated under a variety of other permitting regimes, including under the Safe Drinking Water Act, the Coastal Zone Act, and the non-point source control plan of the state of Hawaii. The pollutants we're talking about here is wastewater, which is treated wastewater that is being introduced to groundwater from the underground injection wells. The County of Maui is arguing that the only way that something can be a point source for purposes of the NPDES program under the Clean Water Act is if the source, the point source, is the means of transportation or means of delivery of the pollutant into a navigable water those things which release into groundwater, even though they eventually end up in navigable waters, are not discharges to navigable waters because they were not delivered by a point source into the navigable water. The Hawaii Wildlife Fund argument, consistent with the Ninth Circuit's opinion, is that the statutory definitions do not limit themselves to direct discharges directly into navigable waters. That if you are a point source, you are a point source, according to the respondents, and therefore you are regulated by the NPDES program. If pollutants end up in a navigable water that are fairly traceable to a point source, then that point source is the source of the discharge into the navigable water according to the respondents. This is not just about the county of Maui, it's about all wastewater treatment facilities throughout the United States. In addition, there are a variety of other activities that are similar enough to the wastewater treatment injection wells here that they too could fall into the NPDES program if in fact the uh, Ninth Circuit decision is upheld.